Man United in England star Luke Shaw regrets agreeing to Eric Ten Hag request as he faces Euro 2024 fitness race. Manchester United in England defender Luke Shaw admits he regrets accepting Eric Ten Hag's request to play in the match that is threatening to blow his Euro 2024 dream. Shaw is battling with a hamstring injury ahead of the start of the Euros, with three Lions boss Gareth Southgate admitting England's first group game against Serbia will come too soon for the 28-year-old. Given England's problems in defence, fellow Manchester United defender Harry Maguire failed to make the final Euro squad due to injury, Shaw's return would be a huge boost to the team's chances of a first major trophy since 1966. But Shaw has not featured in almost four months after aggravating a hamstring injury in Manchester United's 2-1 win over Luton Town on February 18. The left-back had to go off with a hamstring problem the week before against Aston Villa but was asked by Ten Hag and United's medical staff to feature against Luton, something he regrets agreeing to. I felt something against Aston Villa and came off at halftime at Villa Park, Shaw said. It's kind of everyone's fault. Partly my fault, partly medical staff, I think everyone would admit that. I didn't train the whole week. The scan came back and there wasn't too much there. But I didn't train all week, then trained the day before the game. If the manager asks me to play, I'm never going to say no. I shouldn't have played. Shaw says he wanted to clear up the confusion over his fitness issues after being included in England's provisional Euro squad on May 21, four days before missing the FA Cup final through injury. No one knows the situation, what's been happening, the defender added. I think people have seen that there was a setback but I was actually very close to returning to team training. I was, of course, pushing to try and get back for the games in the final and I think I pushed too hard. I came back too quick and I actually ended up getting another injury in my hamstring, which was three weeks from the final and they said it was a six-week injury, so that's why there was that setback. I think people have been getting confused with what's actually happened because nothing had been said. I got a few people coming up to me, saying, how can you not be fit for United but fit for England? But the circumstances were that I did push to do everything I can to be fit for United, and that's been really my whole season. It's been disappointing for me, but I want to do everything I can, first and foremost, for United. It's better for me to come out and say what happened, because I think there were a lot of questions over how I could be here and not United. That's been playing on my mind a little bit because I don't want people thinking that that's what I'm doing. Discussing his current fitness levels and the chances of making England's opening Euro 2024 game against Serbia, Shaw said, we just go day by day, see how I'm feeling in training. I would love to make the first game, but I don't want to rush too quickly because realistically I've only got one chance. If I feel something, then that's it. I don't want that to happen. After kick-starting their Euros campaign against Serbia, England faced Denmark and Slovenia as they looked to top Group C and make the knockout stages. Louis van Gaal gives verdict on whether Eric Ten Hag should be sacked by Man United. Louis van Gaal admits Eric Ten Hag has not done fantastically as Manchester United manager but believes his compatriot should be given more time and avoid the sack. The Dutchman, two weeks on from masterminding United's FA Cup final triumph, remains in limbo. Reports prior to United's Wembley triumph suggested that Sir Jim Ratcliffe had already made up his mind to dispense with Ten Hag, regardless of the result against Manchester City. Ultimately, the Red Devils pulled off a major upset which boosted Ten Hag's chances of securing a third season at the helm. Van Gaal, meanwhile, feels a measure of sympathy for the former Ajax boss who could suffer the same fate that befell him in 2016 after he was dismissed in the immediate aftermath of an FA Cup final win. Speaking to Sky Sports, Van Gaal said, yes of course, he should not be sacked. But I needed also more time at Manchester United. I also won the FA Cup and before me for 20 years nobody has got the FA Cup. Now Eric is winning the FA Cup and also first year qualifying for the Champions League so I don't think you have to sack him. He needs more time but I can also be more critical. He has not done it fantastically you can give criticism but he has also shown he is a good manager. Aside from the ongoing season review, Gareth Southgate's status as United's priority target is also causing a delay. The England manager is said to be interested in the idea of becoming United's manager but will not contemplate his future or discuss it until after the Euros. Speaking last month, 
Southgate addressed the speculation linking him with Ten Hag's job and said, I'm not a big gambling man in bookies, they can make their odds but it's not conversations that's been had with me. I've got one thing to focus on. That's having as successful a tournament with England as possible. Everything else outside of that is a complete irrelevance to me. United are still considering a number of alternatives including the likes of Brentford's Thomas Frank, but former Chelsea and Bayern Munich boss Thomas Tuchel has fallen down the pecking order. Bernardo Silva urges Joao Neves to snub Man United transfer and join him at Man City instead. Bernardo Silva has urged Benfica and Portugal midfielder Joao Neves to snub Manchester United and instead join him at Manchester City. United have identified Neves, 19, as a key summer transfer target, with reports in Portugal claiming they have already failed with a £51 million bid for the teenager. The Red Devils, who slumped to an 8th place finish last season, are keen to sign a replacement for Casemiro following the Brazilian's difficult second season at Old Trafford. Casemiro's relationship with current United boss Eric Ten Hag is reportedly strained after he was left out of last month's FA Cup final against Manchester City and he continues to be linked with a lucrative move to Saudi Arabia. Nevis has a release clause of £105 million written into his contract but Benfica will reportedly consider offers of around £85 million for a player set to feature for Portugal at Euro 2024. Manchester United were thought to be leading the race to sign Nevis but Silva has urged his international teammate to join him at Man City instead. Asked about speculation linking Nevis with a move to Old Trafford, six-time Premier League winner Silva said, I told him to go to Manchester City. It's not easy. He's a player who, due to the success he had last season, has many clubs that want him. As a Portuguese and a player I like, I would like to see him by my side. But I want the best for him. I don't need to convince him. João Neves is already convincing, with the way he works, with the energy he brings to the game. It will be easy for many clubs to enter the race. Let him make his decision, let it be the best for him. If he continues with this energy, he has a very good future ahead of him. Neves is expected to start for Portugal at Euro 2024 alongside Manchester United captain Bruno Fernandes. Speaking in March, Fernandes insisted the highly rated youngster was ready for a big jump to a top European club. I don't know if United rumors are true, but I know he is ready for that big jump, he said. He is an excellent player, he's with the national team. That's also why the big clubs are after him. But ex-Manchester United midfielder Nemanja Matic believes it is too early for Neves to leave Benfica, a club he also played for. Joao is already at a big club at this point. I'm sure his future at Benfica will be very good, Matic said. I think it's too early to leave, but of course, in the end, it's always his decision. Neves has made 75 appearances for his boyhood club Benfica, including 55 across the 2023-24 season, and is becoming a regular for Portugal with six caps since his international debut last October. Manchester United still keen on Portugal international after initial 60 million euro bid. There are two areas that Manchester United will prioritize this summer in terms of reinforcements and that's adding at least one midfielder and a centre-back. Both departments will be overhauled somewhat fundamentally this summer, with Case Miro, Harry Maguire, Christian Eriksen and Victor Lindelof among those to potentially leave the club. Rafael Verani has already confirmed that he will be departing upon the expiry of his contract on June 30 and Johnny Evans could follow suit. Sophie and Amrabat's future is also up in the air with United still undecided on whether they will sign him permanently or not. In midfield, United have been heavily linked with Benfica star Joao Neves, who has emerged as one of Europe's hottest prospects. Neves' performances in the Portuguese capital have also landed him a place in their final 26-man squad for this summer's European Championship. Now, it is being reported that after an initial 60 million euros, 50 million pounds, offer, United's interest in Neves remains and the Old Trafford club are keen on reaching an agreement with the Portuguese giants. That's according to Portuguese outlet Ebola, via Sport Witness, who say that United are one of the clubs making moves to secure Neves' signature. 
As per the report, offers that have found their way to Benfica's table only reach half of their 120 million euros asking price, a fee that would trigger Nevis' release clause. It's claimed that Benfica were initially planning on extending Nevis' contract and thus also increasing the release clause but as things stand, that figure will remain at 120 million euros. Nevis has four years remaining on his contract at Benfica and his club is in no rush to sell anytime soon but it appears that a significant sale is planned. It remains to be seen how high United are willing to go but a nine-figure deal is unlikely, with any sum close to that almost entirely wiping the club's summer budget.